We've been challenged so far, so I think, uh, as you said, it's, it's the first challenge that's been put towards us, and I think we were caught a little bit off guard at the start there. Um, you know, we had a bit of a talk at half time and, and, and re-evaluated re our goals and what we wanted to get done here. While, um, and so uh, I think more in the second half, we, we came out and uh, achieved those goals better. Certainly was a very aggressive game. You got tipped out of your chair a couple of times. Do you enjoy that rough and tumble? Yeah, well, that's part of the game, you know. You, some games are, uh, are not so tough and some are. You just um, you try to, you know, pick it up and, and get on with it. So you try not to think too much about it. But, yeah, it's, it's quite fun. So Australia now definitely qualified for the World Champs next year. So what happens now? What are your goals? Do they change or what happens? No, no the goals stay the same, you know. We, we don't think about um, if we've qualified or not now. We still, we still have a goal and a reason why we're here. We want to use the opportunities we get to play uh, play against these teams to, to get things done for, for the future, you know. we got... We've got some inexperienced guys and, um, you know, I think it's a very good opportunity for them to, to, to get some quality game time here. Well, all the best against China tomorrow. Thanks very much. Thank you. Well, he performed pretty well on the court. And as I said a moment ago, he performed pretty well. Uh, <laughs> we challenged him to perform well on camera, Brendan, and he did quite well. Let's have a look at the stats from the match, so from the match uh, Australia led by Justin Eason. You can see there the concentration of points that were scored by the power players for the Aussie. Eason 22, Ness 16 and Latham 15. That certainly was, Darren. That's who Australia looked for. That's their, that's their game. That's their strength and they played to their strengths today. Korea certainly challenged them and made Australia work for it. Certainly in the first half. Second half, maybe not so much. It sort of pulled away a little bit due to that foul trouble we talked about. Yeah, really like the game from Cho Sung Hyun. We're expecting big things from him and after a slow start, he certainly delivered. Now to the match stats and uh, well, the Australians were in control in most areas because they did take control of the game after that first seven or eight minutes when they got the first spray from coach Ben Ettridge. Tomorrow, the Australians play their last match in this round robin tournament. They will play China. We will have all the action from 6 p.m. tomorrow night on ABC2. The Chinese will be desperate for a win because they want to keep themselves above Malaysia and Kuwait in the standings, and they need to see if they can get it, book a spot in that playoff for third and fourth spot, Brendan, because that is where the action is going to be to try and secure that last spot in the World Championships. It certainly will be. China has really improved since Beijing last year. You can see they've actually bulked up. They're much physically bigger, and hopefully they'll take it to the Australians as well and make a good game of it. Well, we look forward to your company then tomorrow night on ABC2. The Australians unblemished so far in this Asia-Oceania Championship. Today, defeating the Koreans by 31 points. We look forward to your company tomorrow.